All right, y'all gather around. We're gonna do a breathing exercise, five seconds, five Mississippis. We're gonna breathe in deep, hold it, and release together. After that, we're gonna shake it off. And what we're doing is providing a loop interrupter, a brain fart, something to unwind and stop trying to connect what we have in common so much as what is the solution to what we have in common? How did we bust out? How were we able to heal? Everyone's using that buzzword, heal, heal, self-love. But no one's showing you. You know, it's kind of like this. I heard, before we do the breathing exercise, I'll share this. The, I, I forget where I heard it. It had to be in a YouTube short or something like that. But it was shared that walking is a series of controlled falls. Walking is a series of controlled falls. Falls are lessons from crawling to walking. In your healing, you're going to have moments of needed acceleration in understanding, like you're being left behind. I want to encourage you to not lose that fire because that's where FOMO is properly applied. The fear of missing out. When you misapplied FOMO, you see, you want it to go from crawling to walking without the falling. But without the falling, the lesson's never learned. If you want to start walking, you got to learn from the falls. Then it becomes calculated, controlled falls. Warriors, five seconds, let's do this together. And let's take a badass walk on the beach. Come on, let's do this. Really slowly. Shake it off, shake it off, y'all. I can't help but smile, y'all, because I still have my my shell. I'm a uh, archaeologist, shelleristus, arister. Doesn't that look badass? It's hundreds of thousands of years old, and it's for real. Y'all, I got an aha loop interrupter for you, and I'm going to save it. Well, no, I'm going to go ahead and tell it. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. Let me tell you something. Why isn't there a pregnant Barbie doll? You ever thought about that? Well, it's because Ken comes in a different box. <laughs> <laughs> On a serious note, it's funny how narcissists think that pushing you away is going to be chaotic for you. What they didn't realize is pushing you away pushed you into a path of peace. And then they have the audacity to wonder, or hoover, because you're not chasing. You're not following the plan. How dare you not fall in line? How dare you pretend to have fun without me? You see, because narcissists believe you're doing what they're doing. Deep down inside, if they tried to off you, unalive you, poison you, drug you, institutionalize you, if they started doing this, then understand that narcissist, that special narcissist right there, understands your value. And they know you know too. See, they're trying to minimize damage control later because they know they can't help but watch you and compare you. And they can't brag that they ever knew you. Warriors. Why do narcissists not say goodbye? 
Many of y'all probably wandered down the rabbit hole and I'm gonna give it to you short and sweet, or short and sweet as I can anyway. You see, goodbye is closure. Goodbye is a statement made that delivers closure. A goodbye gives answers. I'm not coming back. So narcissists won't say goodbye because they need you to stay caught up in the tailspin. They need you in that Confucius state of mind wondering, are they coming back? What did I do? What happened to them? And then you start creating excuses for them and they know this. It allows them a return visit. What they want to do is, well, you're, they want to derail your sense of self-worth. See, a good majority of you figured that out upon the discard. I venture to say 30 days after, if you truly went no contact, you found your peace. It's just a damn shame. They couldn't see it. You see, ego, pride, gets in the way of narcissists and they want to take the lead because they got it. They got it figured out. It's like showing an apprentice a new job and they're so anxious that they, they, they're like, okay, okay, my turn, my turn, my, my, my turn. And you're going, man, you, you're not even halfway learning and you want to take the wheel. This is the part where they can't shut up and listen. By narcissists not giving goodbyes, it keeps the power shift in their side. Because they know deep down inside to an empath, they're starving for that closure, that reason. Once you understand the playbook though, you understand that that's part of the manipulation and you don't come back as what's gonna draw them out of curiosity to see what they're missing out on. See, FOMO kicks them in the ass. FOMO will have them doubling down trying to disprove you, but you're the marker of success. So they always gotta be in competition to outdo their past. But let me tell you, the past can't be outrun either. And see, the past, what you worked so hard for, it can't wait, oh, it can't wait to deliver your reward. See, you worked hard for it. So either you lived right and you stand to benefit from the next half of your life, or you will suffer consequences for your past. You see, I'm gonna put y'all's mind at ease real quick. Let me share something with you so that you understand how beautiful and powerful the divine or mother nature is and why it's so important that you stay out of the damn way you see nature knowledge glory has a way culling out the weak who are the weak those who do not have self-control those that hide it and masquerade as those of normal mind but on the down low on the DL I'm learning me some words. On the DL, you see, they're freaks lacking self-control. Mother Nature can't be lied to. Spirit, the Divine, Jehovah, Abba, Father. Mother Nature in all its glory will reward you with a sexually transmitted disease, sexually transmitted lust demons, panic, anxiety, poor health as time progresses directly linked 
to your past. You see, at the end, half of your days tells the truth, regardless if the narcissist speaks it or ever said goodbye. You see, narcissists believe that they take their secrets to the grave. Everybody can see them. Especially when the rejections are compounded daily, which is happening now. See, the world, as a human aspect, is awakening. No longer rewarding incompetence, no longer applauding for equality, but rewarding off merit and performance. The days of everybody's equal are history. Mediocrity and narcissists are being replaced with artificial intelligence because even the monkey can do their job. So warriors the Hoovers are going to get exaggerated. They're going to come from multiple angles from people you haven't seen since elementary school. You're going to be invited to events such as high school reunions. They're going to become a thing. And on the down low, remember, I'm fixing the tail. You ever heard of them candle parties? Yeah, ain't a candle one sold. Not even gifted. But see, Mother Nature's taking care of those who don't have self-control. Oh, they're crushing it all right. But they'll be the ones begging for help from the very ones they try to destroy. Who's a badass now? Who's sporting a shit-eating grin? Well, you just get out there and own it. You're nobody's bitch. You never have been. They just thought poking the bear was going to last forever. Now shake the dirt off your ashes. Get off that couch. Get some fucking exercise in. Evil doesn't rest. And I need you on game. Shh, gone. Own it. Time to start teaching spanking asses. Narcissists ain't got a snowball's chance in hell. <laughs> it's never goodbye warriors always until next time thank y'all so much for the support namaste